From the newsroom at news.com.au. G'day, I'm Andrew Bucklow and this is the latest from the newsroom. It's Tuesday the 5th of January. One of Australia's top epidemiologists has called for a halt on international arrivals until hotel quarantine workers are vaccinated. Tony Blakely from the University of Melbourne said the drastic action should be taken now as an outbreak of the highly infectious UK variant from hotel quarantine would be extremely difficult to control. The rapidly spreading B117 strain is considered to be up to 70% more transmissible than the previous variant and has been blamed for an explosion of virus cases across Britain. Meanwhile, Qantas has reopened bookings for international flights from July this year. Despite no word from the government on when Aussies will be able to travel freely around the world, from July 1, the airline is offering flights to both the US and UK, where coronavirus cases are soaring daily. To New South Wales now, and thousands of shoppers at Woolworths in Sydney's west have been urged to get tested for COVID-19. Anyone who visited the Barilla store between December 20 and December 31 has been told to get tested immediately and isolate until they get a negative result. The Woolies is right next to the BWS in Barilla, which is the source of a growing outbreak. Here's New South Wales Chief Health Officer, Dr Kerry Chant. The Barilla cluster originated from returning overseas um, travellers and then there was a, a healthcare worker person who was um, involved in the transfer of those patients and then that person passed it on unknowingly to a close contact and that close contact went to the BWS. Well, there is a bizarre twist in the reported death of former Bond girl Tanya Roberts. It turns out the 65-year-old actress isn't dead after all. OK, bear with me. The star's husband thought she had died while he was in her hospital room on the weekend, so he left devastated and called her publicist who released a statement announcing the actress's death. But after seeing media reports, the hospital reportedly rang the husband to say that Roberts hadn't actually died and was still very much alive, meaning the publicist had to send out another statement saying she wasn't actually dead. There you go. And in other entertainment news, and Grant Denyer has admitted that he was occasionally under the influence of alcohol while presenting the weather on Sunrise. Denyer made the confession in the I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here jungle. Have a listen to what he had to say. When I was doing Sunrise weather for, for years, you know, the amount of times that I was, you know, probably still drunk on air in the morning. Really? Mm. Yeah, it was, mm. was, was too many. Danya presented the weather on the Channel 7 Breakfast Show for seven years. And hey, if you'd like the chance to win $1,000 each week, all you got to do is play the daily quiz at news.com.au forward slash quiz and that cash could be yours. That's it from the newsroom. We'll have another update in the morning. Your headlines from news.com.au. 